ho, what is up, traitors? Ludo here, back with another Merry Christmas episode of Pokemon Go, because today, the Xmas Christmas event was announced in-game. Well, not announced, released. So we got the announcement uh, before the weekend that the Christmas event was coming, and today, it's here. Most of you already know what the event consists of, but in case you don't, the event goes from December 18th to January 2nd. With that, we have increased ice type spawnings through the whole event. Of course, our favorite and friendly Delibird is back along with our Santa hatted Pikachu. But the difference is these are both now available in shiny form. So shiny Delibird and for the first time, festive Pikachu is now also shiny. Along with that, we have babies in 7KM eggs once again, including three new babies. Munchlax, Mantike, and Chingling are three new babies that are coming to the baby pool of eggs, so get excited for new babies coming into the game. Along with that, for every first spin of your day, till January 2nd, you get one free incubator. So get out there, get those spins, and get hatching some eggs. And then with that as well, we have new Deli Bird uh, hat, gloves, what is it? No, oh, it's gloves, sweater, and boots boots will be available in the avatar store for you and i believe that is already live now so go check those out see if you want to deli bird yourself up and aside from that we do have specific day events in a sense so from the 18th to the 22nd right now to the 22nd on 1 p.m uh two times the candy for every catch and transfer then on the 22nd 1 p.m it switches to two times the stardust per catch and that runs till the 26th at 1 p.m and then on the 26th at 1 p.m till the 30th at 1 p.m you have double xp for catches then from 30th on 1 p.m to january 2nd 1 p.m you have increased or half incubator distance so super many many things going on with this event there's a lot going on and there's a lot that we've discovered. So currently, the Silk Road has discovered that there are 10 new wild species, two new species in 7KM eggs, and three new shinies total. That third one, Baby Azurul. So you can hatch Baby Shiny Azurul from 7KM eggs now. So that's super fun, that's cute. Uh, it's a green, so you know, another green Pokemon, or another green shiny Pokemon, I mean. Now, reading what the Silf Road says, uh, I think they are saying that both of their forms can be found in the wild with these 10 new species. So you have Sco Scorupi and uh, Drapion, which are like scorpion type Pokemon. Then you have Finian, which evolves into Lumion. You have Bronzor, which evolves into Bra Bronzong. Then you have Snover, which evolves into Obama Snow, and Krogunk, which evolves into Toxicroak. And then we have the Shiny Azurul, which makes for a new family of Shinies. So you have Shiny Azurul, Azumarill, and Meryl. Or we have Azurill, Meryl, and Azumarill. Brand new family of Shinies. Super fun. Uh, shiny Azumarill is yellow, if I remember correctly. It's really cute. With that, we also have a new legendary raid boss, which is Heatran. We did see him in the PvP footage from IGN. A lot of people were speculating whether we were going to be seeing that, and we are. So Heatran, the ice-melting lava rock Pokemon, is now in legendary raids. So get out there and register your new legendary and along with that, of course, we're going to see a bunch of new other raid bosses. Uh, we don't know what they are yet, but there will be a lot of new raid bosses, as there always is when we get a raid boss changeup. Aside from that, as I already did mention as well, we do have Mantike and Munchlax now hatching, and Chingling now hatching from 7KM eggs, and those are brand new baby Pokemon for the game. So get excited, expand your baby league for PvP, and uh, get out there and hatch those eggs. So, so much for this event. So without wasting any more time, I have already gone live. So bear with as we uh, figure out what we're doing, but we're gonna go out and walk around the neighborhood. I don't have the car today, so we're gonna walk around the neighborhood and see what we can find. Let's uh, hope for a shiny deli bird. Let's hope for some new Pokemon to register. And either way, let's just hope for uh, any kind of shiny. Let's go. So it 
it is a couple days later, but we picked up an old phone, uh, so we're recording. We're back to the original style. We did, however, as you guys saw just in the little intermission there, we did catch a Snover and a Skaroopy. So we have those two brand new ones in the decks from this event so far. We have a couple eggs uh, waiting to hatch, so that way we can open some gifts to get some new 7KM eggs that contain the brand new babies, where shiny Azumarill as one of the options and any of the other shiny babies as an option as well, but specifically the new baby. So we're down here at no other than the fort. Nothing new on the nearby. Uh, hopefully we can find a Pro Gunk and a Bronzor, and then obviously a shiny Delibird and then a shiny uh, hatted uh, Santa Chew. So let us get on with the hunt. Let us get back to our normal vlog styles. Uh, let's see how this uh, camera works, uh, this phone, and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for some good luck. Let's go. Merry Christmas! So we have um, a research breakthrough to finally claim once again. Our last, our first one was, our first one was an Entei, and then our second one was unfortunately a Suicune. So this third one we are hoping and keeping our fingers crossed for a shiny bird from Kanto. So breakthrough, 2000 Stardust, blah, 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 blah. I want the shiny bird. Give me the shiny bird. Man, that's a bummer. Okay, either way, we did hatch those two eggs. They were nothing important. We got two more eggs from Kimber and Poke Girl. Uh, I have a gift from Zoe Two Dots as well that I'm waiting to open up because I think I'm gonna get luck from my three girls. And then we have a couple more eggs that are pretty close to hatching as well. I don't think those are brand new 7KM uh, eggs, if I remember correctly, they are not new. So either way, we're gonna hatch some eggs, we're gonna continue the hunt, and let's get back to trying to find that shiny deli bird. There's been like maybe three deli birds show up, uh, nothing new or exciting on the nearbys, so let's get back to the hunt. So we're back home and we're done with the hunt. No shiny deli bird or shiny snow runt, unfortunately, this time around. We have uh, 
uh, just over 24 hours for uh, this four day part of the extra candy event. And we have racked in quite a bit of candies for our Snover. And so far, this one is our best one. It was an 82. Uh, that is the best one we have found so far. For So for the sake of it, uh, for funds and such, we're gonna evolve it and get our Obama snow registration for the winter solstice season. Super exciting. This thing's a beast and it's uh, very comparable to Snorlax. So it's a beast. Whoa, what was that? Oh my gosh. Yay, do you register 1255? Not that high. That's not that high at all. I thought it might have been way higher than that. Razor Leaf and Energy Ball. I probably want to give it some type of ice move. I don't know. I will look up eventually what its best move sets and whatnot and all that jazz for myself. But new registration in the decks for the winter solstice season. Super exciting. Yay. But we're still on the hunt for uh, Krogunk and uh, Bronzor and Shiny Delibird, Shiny Snow Runt. Uh, hatching those babies from 7Ks to one, get the new babies and to get shiny Azumarill. So there's a lot going on and there's no need to rush or worry. We have until January 2nd, so we got some time. I'm really not worried. Of course, I would like to already have my shiny Deli Bird in the bag, but if I have to wait till the end of the event, closer to the end of the event to get it, as long as I get it, I'll be fine. So stay tuned for that. Uh, gonna go live again here soon for the event as well, specifically. So stay tuned for those things, many much things. Also from all of this PVP, I have a full set of Sinnoh Stones to do a full Sinnoh Stone evolution video. So get amped and hyped for that because that's coming soon as well. And then with the PVP, I did, uh, I have uploaded two PVP videos as of uh, recent, but I did change uh, what I've done with it. I, uh, I, I altered the song, I changed the song completely, and I changed the setup of it just a little bit, so I think it fits a lot better now. Uh, I will probably make that one public uh, the, probably before this one has, uh, so uh, it'll be uh, right there, and you can click on it, please let me know uh, if it is better. I think it's better than the uh, previous two, the first two PvP videos that I made. Uh, so I would like your feedback and let me know if you think that has been an improvement. If you like it, if you don't like it, whatever. Just let me know. I would really appreciate the feedback. So stay tuned for all of the many much things coming your way. But for now, we're gonna close it up here. So please scroll down, give me that like. Give me the like because we got a camera fight while well, I'm filming on it. I'm like looking for it. <laughs> give me a like because we got a camera now. We can get back to this normal vlog style. Give a like for that. Also, maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.